Bruce Means stood alone deep in the Pacaraima Mountains in northwestern Guyana. Scanning the cloud forest with his headlamp, he peered through his foggy glasses at a sea of ancient trees cloaked in beards of verdant moss. I turned 80 on that expedition. <laughs> I got to do a swan song sort of expedition. There's going to be an article in National Geographic as well as an hour-long documentary about it. After 35 years of expeditions to this extreme environment, we might be looking at Bruce Means's final adventure here. Might be. We sit down to talk with him about his decades of discoveries here and closer to home. Tapuis are very simply mesas, and a mesa is a flat-topped mountain. I have been exploring what's called the Guiana Shield, and that is the heart of the South American continent. And on top of this shield area rise these wonderful tapuis up to about 10,000 feet. Uh, so they're pretty spectacular. And on the summits, they are lost worlds, let's say, that are surrounded by vertical cliffs on all sides so that one can't easily climb up a tapui. On this last expedition, famed climber Alex Honold, star of the documentary Free Solo, climbed a tapui called Wayasapu. It added excitement to the Nat Geo stories, but for means, the thrill here is biodiversity. I'm an ecologist. I was trained here in uh, North Florida at FSU. And it turns out that ecologists and other biologists are generally you know, knowledgeable about the temperate part of the world in which they were trained. But a real field ecologist ought to have some understanding about processes in the tropics because the world has had tropical zones around the equator almost for its entire extent. In the 1980s, Means started going to the Guyana Shield on self-funded expeditions. And I eventually became familiar enough with the biology of the area that I could write grant proposals and then I got involved with National Geographic, which uh, funded some of my expeditions and did some documentaries, culminating in the last one, which I just completed. And it may be my swan song of Tapui exploration because I'm 81 years old. So what we did was we trekked for many days through virgin rainforest, which was really lovely. We got to uh, rivers and streams and creeks, and the Amer Indians had felled trees across them so they could balance and teeter across, as did everybody else. But I couldn't do that. My sense of balance is shot. So I had to clamber down into the creek itself and either swim or crawl or drag myself through the water, get up the other side, straight banks, mucky, spidery. <laughs> if you read the magazine article and see the documentary, you'll find out that <laughs> I petered out <laughs> physically, and yet I had teammates with me, the mountain climbers, that uh, actually made sure the expedition was a success scientifically. And, and yet it was thrilling to me because I got to go do some more field work and, and look for some more of the wonderful animals that I specialize in. And as a matter of fact, uh, on this expedition, we discovered probably three species of frogs, new to science, one snake and one lizard. And it'll take me months, if not a few years, to get all that written up. And it is named after me. It's a species unique to the Florida Panhandle. He's also described a few new species closer to home. His scientific name is Lampropeltis meansi. <laughs> <laughs> Great. We are very fortunate here in Panhandle, Florida, because Florida, from about the Suwannee River to the Perdita River, is one of the top biodiversity hotspots of the United States and Canada. I have been fortunate in my career. I got my degrees at Florida State University in the process of studying the biodiversity of the Panhandle, Florida. I've done research on uh, snakes and frogs and lizards and the like but also on ecosystems and fire ecology and all the things that go together to make this panhandle such a fabulous place. All of that rooting through muck, 
whether here in the Panhandle or in South America, has led to Bruce Means discovering numerous reptile and amphibian species new to science. It's the ultimate thrill in any of his adventures. It's a thrill for a field biologist beyond any measure to be the first one to find and recognize you've got a species new to science and then do the work of, of naming it. You, you know, that, that comes later when you sit in the office and you dream about the fun you had out in the wild and you have to grind through all the details of writing up a scientific research paper, which is a culmination of all that work. For WFSU, I'm Rob Diaz-Viviegas. De